102 defense here again. I'm going to talk about the Mosin Nagant and you know being one of the better values you can get out of a gun these days although the prices are going up you can still typically get them for under $300 uh, but for what they are they're going to beat the price uh, they're accurate reliable they're not that complicated they're easy to get apart and clean and one thing that most people complain about and what I don't like about it when you first get them is how bad is the trigger on them I mean these things are uh, long pulls heavy pulls and just uh, they can use some work so this is one that uh, this is a Tula hexagonal I'll show you the trigger pull on this gun using the RCBS mechanical trigger gauge and that was right at six pounds, just a little over six pounds do it one more time and see what we get about six and a half pounds that time so a heavy trigger and a lot of pull a lot of creep it's just uh, makes it more difficult to get your shot off right here's another hexagonal Mosin the gun is clear again just like the other one was. And let's check the trigger pull on this one. Alright, so that one it's terrible, it's not focusing. There we go. About two and a quarter, two and a half. Let's try one more time. Again, two and a quarter pounds. No creep. It's a great trigger. The difference is, I've installed the Timney trigger in this Mosin I got. Another thing you can see the difference of is right here with the Timney trigger, you get a safety on it that's similar to the Remington 700. So I'm going to break these guns down and show you the difference because it's kind of a drop in trigger, but it's not just dropping it in. It takes a little bit of modification to the stock. I'll take these two guns down and now when I come back you'll see the difference of what you have to do to be able to get this trigger installed. Okay, welcome back. We've got the two guns disassembled. Uh, the bottom one here is our stock. Those in the gun, you can see the trigger is basically just a lever. There's your spring. When you fire it, Pull the trigger, sear comes out of the way, dropping down, allowing your bolt to fall forward, firing pin to fall forward, and fire the gun. This is the modified one with the Timney trigger. You can see that 
The pin goes right here to hold in the back side where the firing pin on the original one goes. And then the front of the trigger bolts where your trigger spring would go. And then again, like I said, this is your new safety. Forward is the fire, rear is safe. And all the internals are inside the right area, but its functions similar. And forward, you have this block here. When you pull the trigger, it falls out of the way. It has to have the sprint detention of the firing spring on it for it to fall. So if you notice, there's a good bit of area, a lot more area this firing, uh, this uh, trigger assembly takes up than just your standard trigger with the lever. So that's where all the work comes in. It's simple to bolt this on after you've taken this out. But your original stock looks like this. It has just enough clearance for your regular lever trigger to go in there, your original trigger. So look at this area here and then all of this area. It's all got to be uh, machined out or Dremel tooled out or whatever you're going to use to be able to get this trigger assembly to fit in there. And this is what it looks like when you're done. There's a significant amount of wood that has to come out to be able to get it to fit in there. And if you notice, you can now see through this part because you have to mill down, you have to mill it out good enough to get down, get down to where the trigger will sit flat. And then all this area has to be cleaned out to allow the safety to rotate forward and backwards. I'll show you the original one more time. Well, I'll show them to you side by side so you can see the difference. So that's where the work comes in on this job. As long as you take your time, you know, take out a little bit, try and fit the barrel back in there, go over and over again, slowly take it out, put more in, but uh, hopefully this this guide will show you about what you got to get to to be able to get that Timney trigger to fit. And it makes a huge difference on firing the gun. <clears throat> what I would say I need to you be careful of is don't go too deep. You only have about a quarter of inch of wood left down here after you get done hollowing out all this uh, wood in here. And then try not to cut across too far this way to weaken that bridge right there. Alright, that's the uh, Timney trigger for the Mosin Nagant. You can get these triggers for about $100, $80 to $100 depending on where you get them at. And uh, it makes a huge difference. That's it for now. Be safe out there.